Hello there, welcome to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and in this video I want to show you how you can go about getting Maya for free. Yes, that's right, it costs an absolute fortune, but Autodesk know this, so to allow people to be able to learn the software, they allow student licenses which gives it you for free for a whole year and that's good. So if we jump over to my PC, I'll show you how you go about doing that, setting up the account and getting it installed. So if you look over here, I'm on Google. I would always recommend just going to Autodesk Education, like so. And we want this one here, Autodesk Educational Stuff. In fact, let's go here, free software for students, even better. And then it shows you the software that you can get, but we need to go to Get Started first to create that account to get us up and running. So let's go to Get Started. And then I've already got an account, but I'm gonna show you the process of setting up a new one for this. So we'll go to Create Account, and then you need to put in some of your information. So I am in the United Kingdom, if I can find it. I'm gonna go set it up as a student account, so you've seen that. I am at university or post-secondary, and date of birth I'll put in two. Okay, so that's that first bit done, let's move on. Then you need to put your details in. I'm gonna blur these out, because I don't wanna be um, identity frauded. Okay, so once that's all filled in, let's tick the box to say that we agree to whatever stuff they're telling us to agree to, and we'll create that account. And then it's gonna send you that verification email to make sure that you are a real person. So I've got my email open and we need to verify that account. So we'll click on that and then click on verify email. Check this box to receive electronic marketing. No, thank you. Okay, so now we're getting there. So name of your educational institution. So we need to put all those details in. And then you need to put in when you're enrolled from and when you're enrolled to. And then we can click on next. So your account is now updated to access the Autodesk education community, lovely. So we can go to continue. Now I'd like to have a look at getting some of this software. So um, what we're gonna do is go for Maya, is the one I wanted, so let's click here. And then we need to check on some of this information. So that all looks right. So if you click on confirm. Now you might see this tab here with the button that says confirm eligibility with your educational institution single sign on. I don't want to do it that way so I'm just going to click on it and then close the tab. So I didn't want to do the single sign on thing because that's not the process that I'm trying to show you which if you've got that at your institution that's brilliant by all means use it uh, but I closed the window that opened up and um, now I've got the option to upload a document instead. So in order to do that, you need something to prove that you're a student or wherever you are. So I've got one of these, which is a student ID card. So if you've got something like that, take a picture of it. I've already done that, so I can now upload that. So on this page here, it's telling me what I can use. So what I'm gonna do is now click here to find that document, put it on my desktop, and it's called student ID. So let's just type that in. There it is and open and I can see that student ID is now ready to be uploaded so then we can click on submit and then it uploads and hopefully it's all good so now um, on their end they just need to verify that image that I sent them to make sure that I really am a student uh, and then we're all good five minutes later so now that I've given it a few minutes I've had an email saying congrats you now have educational access to Autodesk products so what I'm gonna do is just use the link in this email to take them to that, so get product. And for some reason it's still saying get started. So we'll see um, what happens when I try and get the software. So let's go here for Maya. It's asking me to sign in again, I can do that. Oh, <laughs> you're confirmed. So now that I've gone through that process, you're confirmed, congrats, we've confirmed that you're eligible for educational access. You've got it for 12 months. Get Autodesk software, don't mind if I do. So although in this video I'm showing you this is how you can get Maya, you can also get 3ds Max, you can get AutoCAD, you can get the lot. So let's get Maya, get product. Then what you want to do is choose your version. Maya 2023 is what this video is advertised as, so we'll do that. I speak English, but there are other languages. You can also get some of the older versions as well if you need them. And then you've got some options. You can just click on install or you can download it first. 
which sometimes if you have any issues with your install, downloading can work. But I'm gonna click on the install button. Clicking accept means that you agree to some stuff. I agree, I've got nothing against it. Here we can see it's now downloading the, the uh, installer. So this is not the whole thing. It'd be a very small application if it was, just 10 megabytes. It's a little bit bigger than that. Uh, we'll click that to open it. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yeah, it's got to install stuff, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Autodesk Maya 2023. This will replace your existing product. So I've already installed this once already. This is just for your benefit. So I only need to install the update. Um, but for you, oh, and I also can't install it because I ain't got the room. Gosh darn it. A few moments later. Okay, I've just made some space. Should we try again? Retry. Oh, I must have made enough space. Okay, so um, your install thing will look a little bit different to mine, but install everything essentially. You want the full package if you're getting Maya at all. And then just click on install. Let it do its thing. So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you found it helpful, for goodness sake, make sure you click the thumbs up button so it can help other people. If you like what I'm doing here, then subscribe to the channel too and turn on the notification bell so I can harass you with all my video uploads. And uh, if you are downloading the student version of Maya, then there's every chance that you're also learning it. I'm gonna pop some links on screen for you. I've got a 15 minute introduction to Maya and a more in depth four and a half hour full tutorial course both of them are excellent. In fact, if you search YouTube just for Maya tutorial, you'll find that my videos always kind of pop up in the top three or four anyway. That's just how goddamn good they are. So uh, check them out. All right, that's it then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video another time. Goodbye.